Ashley, how are you? Tell me, how are you doing? I want to know. Just let it all out. If something's bothering you, just get it out. Tell me. Tell somebody. Don't let that stuff bottle up inside you. So I'm having a really good morning. Very busy morning, but I feel good. I started my day, got the kids off to school, ran a couple errands, went to the gym finally, and I don't know how long. I've been telling myself, I gotta get back to it, gotta get back to it, and I haven't. And finally, today is the day I said, I'm just gonna go to the gym. I gotta do it, I gotta force myself to do it. And that's what I did. I didn't do a whole lot, not what I would normally do at the gym, but I got a little bit in, enough to get my heart rate up and get out of breath and feel good. I did a little bit of weights, did a little bit of walking and some running. Um, I didn't overdo it because I had an appointment at 10 o'clock that I had to be at. So um, my workout got cut short, but at least I got it in. I can say I did it and I feel good. Um, best way to start the morning, do some stretching, some exercising, some meditation. So then after the gym, I went right to my Reiki appointment with Jen, who is fabulous. Um, Reiki, Reiki, however you pronounce it. And, um, and that went really well too. It's only been my third or fourth session and um, I'm just blown away every single time that I go and do it. And I I wish I could do it more often actually because every time I go something amazing happens afterward. So if you've never done it before, look in your local area. Find somebody that does Reiki sessions and, and get yourself in. It's amazingly incredible. I can't even say enough about it. It's I can't even describe it. It's just awesome. So you should just do it. Especially if you're having some difficulties or challenges right now in life and you just need to find a way to move forward, um, just do it. Uh, art therapy is great too. If you're just trying to really work on something, trying to get through it, um, art therapy is a great way to do it, especially if you're not um, the type of person that's willing to communicate and, and do therapy through talking. Um, Therapy through a creative sense is also a great way to deal with some emotional problems or just life challenges or stressors, um, things that are mentally bothering you and such. So um, sometimes people don't find what they need through counseling. There's so many different avenues of therapy that you can get. There's nutrition therapy, there's art therapy. It's just a whole endless list of things and ways that people can try and do just to cope with life and to get through the day to day. I mean, my life's not perfect, um, but I'm, I'm trying and I try different things all the time to try to see what works, what works for me. What works for someone else may not be um, the best fit for me and what works for me may not be the best fit for you. But um, Lately, I've been doing more of the meditative type um, therapies and uh, Reiki, getting out in nature, um, which is one of the best things for me, I think, is just getting outside. We don't like to be cooped up inside, and I just love that fresh air and the wind, the breeze, the sunshine, and um, watching the birds. <laughs> Any kind of nature, I can get my, my visual uh, rays on just I love to just watch watch nature. It's pretty awesome for me. Anyway, that's what works for me. May not be what works for you, but you should at least try different things. Don't give up, you know. If you go and see your doctor and they point you in this direction and that didn't work, don't give up. There's so many different avenues to try. And, and the more you try, the more experience, the more knowledge, and the more um, things that you learn about yourself, even. And, and it's just a process, everything is a process, and you have to go through those processes to, to determine or figure out what works for you. And, um, and once you do, man, once you find what works best for you, it's just amazing, just dumbfounding. It's incredible. And then life goes on, and you can move forward, and you can get to reaching all those goals, hopes, and dreams that you, you want to obtain, but yet you just feel stuck. 
and no one should feel stuck and staying in the stuck mode for way too long. It's not healthy, not good, it's not good for your health or um, anybody's situation or even the people around you. So it's great to just get out there, try new things, and um, yeah, live, just live. I'm just mixing up my paints. I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different today. Um, I should probably say that every time because I've never done anything the same. None of my paintings are the same. Yeah, it's just fun. Therapy, uh, art therapy, and um, working with all types of creative um, art medium is just fun for me. And it is for a lot of people, especially people who have never tried it before and they get their hands in there and. They get all excited and feel positive and rewarded and um, they get that creative energy or juices flowing and next thing you know they're going home and they're reorganizing or uh, minimalizing their homes and doing all kinds of crazy things so it actually does work so if you've really put some effort into this type of art therapy or reiki therapy or nature therapy nutrition therapy or whatever type of therapy you're doing put some effort into it you will see results and be open-minded that's that's another key thing too you have to be open to it and um, you can't be closed off I mean you can't just go into a therapy and just automatically assume this isn't gonna work and this isn't um, gonna help anybody if you have that attitude then yeah it's not gonna work but if you go into any situation with an open mind and, and just know that something good will come out of it, then most likely it will. And that's how to, uh, to look at most any situations, really. Just to be completely open-minded and, and just go with the flow and see what happens. Doors will open and you'll see that. And don't be so closed off and negative and, and assume the worst or anything like that because then maybe the worst will just have to keep happening. Who knows? Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> 